In this video today, we're going to be looking at Canova's new master pan system, which integrates with their existing range of sliders. Now, sliders are pretty much a staple part of any filmmaker's toolkit, and they've been around for quite a long time now. We, we typically see sliding shots in, in lots of videos, and they can become quite overused and quite boring, especially the traditional just left to right or right to left slide. So as filmmakers, we're always looking for ways to increase the production value, increase the interest in our visuals, and the master pan system is one way of doing that. So we're going to have a look today at how it works. We're going to set it up and have a look at it uh, in operation. Now we've got a Canova K3 120 centimeter slider here and I'm gonna set up the master pan system as part of this existing slider. Uh, I've had this for several years and use it hundreds if not thousands of times. Great piece of kit. And that's one of the good things about Canova kit is that bits of kit that they release typically work with the existing pieces. So it's very much a modular system that you can add to. Let's have a quick look. Um, the main kit comes in three of these uh, sort of padded pouches which are nice high quality um, I have them in a sort of single bag and the, the, the kit all fits in that we have the main part of the kit which is the actual pan head here and what we're going to do is we're going to affix that to the carriage train of the slider. Now, in order to do this, we have a mounting plate, which we just pop on and hand tighten as much as we can. And there'll be a little bit of play on it, but that's no problem because then what we do is we then take the uh, panning head, we fix it on, tighten up this red knob here, and then we're just gonna twist it a little bit and that's just gonna tighten up the uh, mounting plate beneath us. Loosen off the red knob and then just nicely align it so this part here, and it's actually an arrow head, is pointing completely forwards at 90 degrees or perpendicular to the slide train. And then once we're happy with that, we're just gonna tighten up that red knob there. Okay, and that's the first part done. Uh, we do actually have an instruction manual with this and Canova actually have, have really improved. When I first got some of their products, the instructions weren't that great. Um, they've really improved it and I'm personally a big fan of instruction manuals. I like to know how stuff works and all the little ins and outs and Canova have really um, produced very good instruction manual. And actually, for, you can see from this, it looks like there's you know lots and lots of steps and it's quite complex, but as you'll see, you know, I had a, a quick read through of this the first time and then actually the setup of it is very easy and very quick, but it's nice that they include that. So the next part of the setup is using these two parts here and we've got uh, another one and these mount at either end. And all we do is we just place them, already got the mounting uh, point on the slider, you know, which is great, nice, quality machined aluminium screw there just feels nice and solid so pop one on that end and then the other one at the other end and just tighten those up now the next part of the setup is that we just want to make sure that these are at the right height and what we've actually got is a furled edge along here and then we've got a little lip on either end and what we're just gonna do is we're just gonna make sure that it just fits just underneath it. And actually, that is about spot on. If we need to adjust it, we just undo these two red screws here and then just tighten them back up. And let's have a look at the other end. That's pretty good as well. Okay, so we're almost there. I'll just bring this back to the middle a second. The final part is using this, which is a is the metal bar, and it actually comes in this nice protective plastic tubing. Um, the metal bar itself is is metal, but it's very lightweight. It's not flimsy, uh, but it would potentially be damaged. So it's nice that they give you it in the protective casing, and you can just put this in your slider bag as well. Now what we do with the metal bar is that we, we just feed it through 
a little opening in the carriage, like so. And then you'll see that we have two red knobs once again at either end. And we're just going to slacken these off, pop it in, tighten one up, and then tighten the other one up. And that is the setup complete. Now, this is the, the, the clever part. Depending on the position of this bar and the position uh, and how we adjust it either end, it depends on how the head will move. Now, you can see at the moment the bar is once again perpendicular to the slide rail. So the, the two red knobs are actually in the middle of these two parts here. And this is just going to result in a normal slide. But for example, and if we just pop a camera on, so just tighten that out so it's nice and secure. And you'll see, like I said before, if we move it, it's just going to stay perfectly straight. But if, for example, we want to do a, uh, we have an object that we want to keep the camera pointing towards throughout the move, all we do is we take it to the one end. So this would be, for example, the starting end and we adjust it so it's pointing towards that object and then we take it to the other end and then we're going to do the same thing and adjust it at the other end okay at its finished position to once again be pointing and then as you see as we move it along the slide the master pan head does all the walk work for us and pans that camera in a nice smooth linear fashion without us having to worry about it. So just by using my hand, I'm able to concentrate 100% on the slide and not worry about the pan, knowing that the camera is gonna repeat that over and over. Now, conversely, if we wanted to do a different type of move where the camera actually uh, pans and, and moves in an outward type of arc, so for example, if we were following an object throughout the frame as we slide, or we want to start on an object, one object of interest, and then we want to finish on another, we can do that. Once again, if we move the slider and we begin our camera pointing outwards, so towards whatever our point of object, uh, point of interest is over there, and then we bring it down. And then, for example, let's say we want to point it over this way. We just adjust accordingly and then you can see as we move it goes from one to another and we can obviously fine tune that in between to whatever we want our start and end point to be so it's really effective and really easy um, it's a mechanical setup that you know works smoothly and enables you to repeat those processes, uh, those movements over and over again. So we'll just see now some example of some shots using the master pan system versus using a manual system where I actually have a fluid head and I'm manually panning the camera while sliding it, trying to get a smooth move. And you'll be able to see the difference between the two. have a look now at some examples of the master pan in action and using it in different scenarios so using it from where the camera begins in and ends in and uh, begins out um, so those different types of pans that it can achieve so hopefully this has been a useful overview of the master pan system from Canova I'm really excited to be using it in my filmmaking and my time lapse and I can't wait to use it more. Um, like I said, there's so many applications for it and it's really about figuring those out and getting the most out of it um, to be able to add interest and excitement to, to shots that I just wouldn't be able to do manually. The links to all the equipment shown in this video are in the video description below and thanks very much for watching.